welcome back to another midweek moment. So in the entryway of our house, we have a, a shoe bin where everybody in the family has a spot where they can put their shoes. And then when it's time to go each day, they grab their shoes out of the bin, put them on their feet, and they're ready to step out of the door. But occasionally there's a problem where one of the kids might have a knot in their shoes and, and they're trying to get it untied so that they can get their shoes on properly. And I especially remember when my kids were younger where they would try to take that knot out themselves and most of the time they just make it worse. And so they would bring their shoes to me and they'd say, Daddy, can you help me get the knot out of this shoe? And so I'd use my fingernails to pry open the shoelaces and properly retie it for them. And I think that prayer is a lot like that. Because sometimes we're going through our lives and uh, we have knots, we have problems that we face. And often we try to fix those problems ourselves and in the process we make things even worse. And prayer is simply looking up to our Father God and saying, God, can you help me get the knot out of my shoe? Can you help me fix this problem? And the reality is, if we would have just asked him in the first place, it would have saved us a lot of time and hassle. You know, when it comes to raising kids, we want our kids to figure out how to tie their shoes for themselves, how to figure out their problems for themselves. But when it comes to our relationship with God in prayer, we never outgrow the need to turn to Him and to ask for help. You look at the Psalms, the prayer book of the Bible, and 66 times it says, God, help. So this week, my encouragement to you is, don't try to figure out your problems on your own. Continue to turn to God with the knots that you face in your life and say, God, can you help me to untie this knot? Don't wait. Do it now. Thanks for joining me today. I'll see you again next time.